Hi, I'm Mason Marangella. You may know me as the Rig Doctor, and today I'm here at Sweetwater to help you find the best pedal board. As a pedal board manufacturer myself, I know that not every single product that we make is gonna check every single box. And this is why we have so many different types and varieties of pedal boards, because every player's needs are gonna be different. So today we're really gonna give an overview of all the different types of pedal boards, their specific applications, where they really excel in their assets, and then where that might align best with your gear, your rig, and how you kind of envision what your pedal board might look like, and whether it's gonna be changing all the time, whether it's gonna stay the same, and then where you might have multiple different models that are gonna satisfy your exact needs. So the first style pedal boards that I wanna start out with are kind of the platform style pedal boards. And by platform, I mean these are flat surfaces to mount on top of, don't have a tremendous amount of wiring abilities underneath, although there are some, we'll get to that with the pedal train. But the first one I wanna talk about is the Bone from Gator. And this is kind of a, a really kind of nice elementary style pedal board. Everything is top mounted, all of your connections and everything are gonna be available on top. You have Velcro already mounted into the actual surface of the pedal board so that you can just get right into putting pedals right on top, doing all of your wiring, your routing, probably a power supply on top, maybe daisy chaining pedals depending on what your power supply of choice is. And again, this is nice, lightweight, it's gonna allow you to have access to everything on top. And sometimes that can even be a benefit in terms of troubleshooting. You don't have to be turning things on both sides of the pedal board to determine where your connections are. Sometimes that can be an advantage, especially if you have a faulty cable or something's not going 100% right on the pedal board. There's also a smaller sized version of the bone if you want some of these same features and you just want something that's a little bit more consolidated for fewer pedals. Now. Up from that, we have a Boss pedal board, and this is really cool because it's got a self-contained case. So you're able to close up the board at the end of the gig. It only offers you a couple of pedals, however, about three Boss-style pedals. Maybe if you had a few mini pedals, you might be able to add a few more things in there. This is definitely presuming that you're using some sort of power supply, like maybe a one-spot wall wart, and then distributing the power via daisy chain, and you're just putting those pedals right there on top. Again, has that benefit of being top-mounted, you don't have to worry about switching between two sides to figure out where you want to keep those cables. This is a really cool thing too, again, because at the end of the gig, you can close this thing up, button the latches, and then you can walk away, carry this thing out of the gig, no problem. Also, when you're at the gig, after you've opened the case, you can simply just push down on the top, and you can remove the top so that you're only dealing with your pedal board surface on stage. And then when you're ready to pack up for the gig, you can reattach the bottom, press down, and close the lid, and then walk out of the gig effortlessly. This Boss pedal board is also available in several different sizes, including one that has wheels and a retractable handle. So you can definitely take this concept and expand it to a much larger pedal board that has built-in IOs and all that fancy stuff. We'll get into some of those types of pedal boards a little later on. Lastly, we have sort of the, the transition from the flat style to some of them that have a little bit more features in terms of being able to route and consolidate power supplies. That's the pedal train. Now, pedal train has been one of the most popular names in the pedal board business, and for good reason. They have a lot of great benefits. Not only do you have the slab like you do with these others, you also have ability to be able to route power supplies and mount them underneath, and pedal train provides you all the framework and diagrams diagrams and also templates to be able to mount a power supply underneath the pedal board itself, which is a really handy tool. And then you have a nice channel here where you can bring all the cables and route them up into the individual pedals. This is a great transition from people that are moving from the slat board and want to go up to more of a slanted style board that also allows some mounting underneath the pedal board. And this is just the smallest size of the pedal trainer, one of the smallest. They offer a myriad of options and sizes that are available as well as customizable risers so that you can get varied heights on all the different types of pedal train pedal boards. 
Next we have our slanted style pedal boards. And, and kind of the key distinction here is that you have a pedal board that starts with a little bit more of a narrower base and then increases, kind of goes up in a slant on the back. And this is accomplishing a few things. It's allowing you to have that power supply underneath the pedal board. And some of them even have power supplies that are included. We'll talk about that a little bit in a moment. And the other cool thing is, is that you have a nice way to be able to route cables underneath and then bring them up. So that kind of limits the exposure of visible cables. So you can have a little bit neater routing, at least visibly on the top of the pedal board. But let's start with one of the first ones here. This is made by SKB. Now this is a plastic molded pedal board and it is advantageous in that it's very lightweight. You have ability to stash your power supply underneath here. You have plenty of routing channels to be able to bring up cables into the rig. And it really is kind of giving you a budget option if you wanna get into some of these slanted style boards, but you're not quite sure if you wanna to commit to it yet, or you just want something that's really lightweight and is made out of a really high grade quality plastic. This can be a way to go that's gonna save you some weight, give you some of the features of some of the higher end boards and not break the bank. Next, we have one from Gator, and just picking this thing up, I mean, this thing screams quality. And as somebody that's manufacturing pedal boards, I can tell you that this is a really, really well-made piece of gear. Now, one cool thing that they do on the bottom is Gator gives you these nice little thumb screws, these little wing nuts, so that you can actually clamp your power supply underneath so you don't need to use any sort of Velcro or mounting kit. So this is a little bit unique to this particular brand that we don't really see used in any of the other brands, which I think is really cool. The other thing about it is you can put all your cables on top. You can route cables through the bottom. You have lots of different areas where you can bring that in instead of using the channel style that we saw with the SKB. This can be really advantageous again to hide cables that you don't want to see and have those cables come up seamlessly pretty much anywhere in the surface area available on this pedal board. That is a really cool feature that I think is definitely a differentiator here for this Gator board. And wow, it is really nice feeling, really good quality. And with this Gator, it's also cool because you have a couple of different color options so that you can express your pedal board desires in whatever way you want with whatever color you're feeling. So that is a cool thing that you can do that some of the other pedal boards don't offer. And of course, there's different case options for these and it's made by Gator. So there are gonna be complimentary cases that work with this. And if you're all wondering which of those cases might be, your Sweetwater sales engineer can always answer that for you, find you the complimentary case for really any of these pedal boards. The last one is also incredibly impressive. It's made by a longtime favorite in the pedal board industry, Voodoo Lab. And they've created a really, really nice frame for a pedal board that kind of takes the slanted idea and really runs with it using some of their signature products. Like this one has the Voodoo Lab Pedal Power 2 actually mounted with it. Now you can get these with different versions. You don't have to get it mounted with the Pedal Power 2. You could get it without or some of their other power supplies. They also have in-out boxes that you can mount to this. And this is sort of taking a similar concept here to what we saw with the Gator. You have lots of different places where you can bring cables in. You can hide cables underneath. You have your power supply that you can have included with this. This is great because you don't have to think about anything. You can order it with all the accessories already pre-mounted to it. You don't have to think about it. You can just start getting into the routing, putting those cables down and getting right to playing that guitar, that bass or whatever instrument you're gonna be using with your pedal board. Next, we have a couple of other versions of slanted boards. I'm gonna kind of call these slanted plus in that they offer a few extra options that some of the other boards we talked about don't have. Looking on my left here, we see the holy boards. Now this is pretty cool in that you can consolidate it to a fairly small size, or you can expand it to almost double the size of just one. And then you have your mounting bracket so that you can brace this in place so that you have absolute stability of your pedal board and you're able to have maximum space that's modular so that you can expand or contract based on how your pedal collection is going. The other cool thing about this is that it allows you to use zip ties. So you can actually hard tie mount your pedals onto the board. There's so many different options for holes. You can use that to make sure that you're getting a secure and stable mounting surface on every single pedal. And the cool thing is if you wanna move something, you can just clip that zip tie and reroute it somewhere else on the pedal board. Now the Temple pedal boards offer a lot of cool things. They have buffered modules, they have power supply modules, all sorts of cool stuff in terms of the modules. And they have cool little punch outs on the side so you can put things exactly where you want them and really be able to customize this to your heart's content. 
The other cool thing is that they offer these mounting brackets so that you can mount your pedal to this mounting bracket and then you can route it around through the bottom of the pedal board. Just a simple thumb screw will release the bottom of the bracket and then you can feed it through, screw it in, and then you can have your pedal board perfectly sitting on top. No need to use Velcro for this unless that's desired. However, I really feel like the mounting bracket is the way to go. That way you're able to maximize the actual stability of this pedal board and use it as was intended. Sometimes Velcro on this where there's holes, you don't have quite as much surface area for stick. So I really recommend if you're gonna go for a temple, definitely get their mounting hardware. It's just gonna make a whole lot of difference and allow you easy access to using all the different space and all the different holes available here and not have to gunk up the pedal board with ad adhesive unnecessarily. And beyond that, temple pedal boards are available in a ton of different sizes. This is just one of many. These also have options for soft cases, hard cases, so you can definitely get everything that you need to make sure that you're protecting your investment. You're able to travel with this seamlessly. And last, we have our advanced pedal boards. These are pedal boards that have the most amount of features, the most amount of expandability, the most amount of modules and options for routing. One of the first ones, which I think does some of the best at blending great styling with great features is the Emerson pedal boards. I mean, just look at that wood side. Definitely gonna be a head turner if you wanna have a board that really matches style with function. This is really great in that you have all the ability of any of the other style slanted boards. You have plenty of space to route cables through the bottom. You have the module ability in the side, as you saw with the wood, that you can mount different types of modules into the side for your inputs and outputs and also for power. This is a really, really beautiful pedal board, really, really solidly built and offers you some of the exact same things we talked about with some of the other pedal boards with a stylish, nice looking, highly functional, rig. This is also available in multiple different sizes, although we have the biggest one here. You can get this in many different versions and also have options for cases and soft gig bags. Next we have the Friedman pedal boards and these are absolutely fantastic. If you know who Dave Friedman is, you know that he cut his teeth as a rig builder clear back in the early 90s and is taking decades of experience to build something that's going to really meet the needs of players. Also, this has some of the best buffer modules in the business. With their buffer bay, you have a nice quality input buffer and plenty of pass-throughs, and even the ability to turn the buffer on and off in cases where you might be using a germanium fuzz or some sort of impedance sensitive device, you have the ability to do that right on the front. And then maybe when you're not using it, you can always re-engage it. That's a really cool feature that again, mounts right into the side of the pedal board. Equally, they have a high quality switch mode power supply, absolutely noise free. I wouldn't expect anything less from Dave Friedman. This is an absolutely wonderful supply. Even as great, just using it on its own, frankly, even if you don't have this pedal board, it's such a great quality supply. Again, mounts underneath, gives you maximum amount of space to route on top hides the power supply, hides the buffer bay. You have options to mount a volume or wah pedal. They have that little insert there that mounts and is modular so you can move it on either side if you're left footed, right footed, or maybe just want your wah or your volume in the center. Very, very cool. Is definitely very well engineered and thought out. And the quality of the metal, the quality of the bending and the paint is just absolutely incredible. Lastly, we have the Vertex pedal board, the pedal board that we manufacture. And some of the cool features about what we do is we actually have a second tier. So instead of doing the slanted style, I'm kind of taking some of those flat styles and I'm putting two tiers. The thing that this is really great for is it allows you to duplicate the surface area underneath the pedal board on the top of the pedal board. So you can mount a whole lot more pedals and you have the ability to just flip up the top for easy access to anything underneath. We have magnetic latches, so as you close it, it locks in place. And then when you wanna open it up to make any changes, change your pedals, you can just simply pull up the top and have access to them right away. Now this is incredibly beneficial for those of you that are using switchers, true bypass loopers, and things of that nature, because you can bury those pedals underneath this riser because you won't need access to them if you have some way to remotely switch them. It can be highly valuable for that. But we also have several different sizes. So if you have smaller number of pedals, you need a smaller, more compact pedal board. We have two sizes that are travel friendly and meet all the criteria for carry-on baggage. And then the other two sizes of pedal boards, which are a little bit larger like this one, 
These are all designed to fit within the weight restrictions of standard traveling. Under 50 pounds assembled is our goal inside the case so that you could check this without having to pay any extra baggage fees. And although we don't make a case, we design these explicitly for the common case sizes and there's about three to four cases available right through Sweetwater if you talk to your sales engineer that they can recommend for every conceivable size and type of pedalboard model that we make. Additionally, we also have buffered modules. On the side here, we have a buffered module that can accommodate any type of routing conceivable. Mono, stereo, four cable method if you have an amp with an effects loop, wet dry or wet dry wet. We have one input buffer, stereo output buffers with an isolation transformer on one end. It has a toggle switch so that you can adjust the polarity and get that full galvanic isolation when you're running two amps so that you can ensure that you have no noise so you can match the polarity of those two amplifiers. Additionally, we have an extra buffer on the return if you're using an effects loop. That's ensuring that if you do have a buffered effects loop, that you're getting a high quality line that's going back to the return of the loop so there's no degradation even if you are going for cable method. Also, we have a power supply module on the outside. This allows you to have one IEC coming in to the pedal board from the wall. And then on the inside, you have two outlets here that you can put two power supplies into so that you don't need to have multiple AC cables coming from the wall into your supply. You can keep it all consolidated under one roof and have the ability to have two supplies with one cable going back to the wall. Lastly, we're using all aircraft aluminum. These may look big, but this is incredibly lightweight. The lightest weight in its class for anything that is this size. Again, all high quality, US made, and epoxy powder coated, so there isn't going to be any issue with noise, any issue with conductivity. If you're accidentally touching a pedal to the metal surface, you're not gonna get any issues with that whatsoever. High quality buffer. You have a high quality option for a patch bay for your power, for your AC gives you all those same options, integrating it into one. So that was an overview of several different types of pedal boards. And depending on your application, whether you wanna have something that's relatively sedentary, whether it's modular, there's gonna be options for every single player out there. And if you're at all confused about which one of these might be best, talk to your Sweetwater sales engineer. They're gonna be able to guide you through this process and really help you fine tune exactly which pedal board surface is gonna be the best for you, your rig, and your application. If you like what you saw today, I highly recommend you like and you subscribe to the Sweetwater channel. That's gonna keep you up to date with all the great videos that are getting released every single week. And put a comment of maybe one of these pedal boards or something that you already use. Give us some insight as to which one of these work really great. This can always go a long way at helping other viewers that are looking at the comments maybe understand some other context that maybe we didn't cover in this video. Until next time, I'm Mason Marangella, AKA The Rig Doctor, see you later.